Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we'll be discussing geometry basics and strategies for selecting between parallel plate and cone and plate geometries. Additional information is also available in the help guide for your instrument. From the instrument tab, you can navigate to the help by clicking on the question mark. Here you will find information on using the test geometries as well as geometry specific pages. TA offers several geometries, including parallel plates and cones. Parallel plates are flat surfaces and cones are sloped surfaces with a truncated tip. While both geometries may be used to measure the viscosity of fluids, there are some key differences to consider. One difference is the shear rate and the radial direction. For parallel plates, the shear rate increases as the radius increases. For cones, the change in slope results in a constant shear rate across the geometry. The constant shear rate makes the cone and plate useful for measuring normal stresses. Additionally, cones accurately measure the shear viscosity as a function of shear rate. Due to the change in the shear rate and the radial direction for parallel plates, the viscosity of non-Newtonian fluids may be corrected using the Rabinowitz correction. During temperature ramps, the geometries expand as the temperature increases based on the coefficient of thermal expansion. Parallel plates are preferred in this case because they can be operated at a variety of gaps. The operating gap for cones is the specified truncation gap. For cones, the truncation gap is much smaller than the parallel plate gap, so small deviations in the gap height can cause significant errors. A variety of samples may be tested with these geometries, including gels, creams, lotions, toothpaste, as well as many others. For samples with particles, the truncation gap for the cone must be greater than or equal to 10 times the particle size. Parallel plates can accommodate larger particles because the gap height may be increased. For samples that exhibit slip, we offer parallel plates with roughened surfaces to help mitigate slip. These surfaces include crosshatched and sandblasted. For thermosets and samples that cure, we offer disposable parallel plates which can be removed and disposed of after experiments. Next are a few tips for managing torque limitations, increasing the shear rate, and selecting a geometry based on sample size. If the torque is too low, consider using a larger diameter geometry and vice versa for torque values that are too high. To achieve higher shear rates, use smaller gaps with the parallel plate and lower angles with the Conan plate. If you have small volumes of sample, consider using smaller diameter geometries and lower cone angles. In this tech tip, we have discussed considerations for parallel plate and cone and plate geometries. For additional information, you may reach out to our Rheology helpline. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA tech tips and thank you for your interest.